Okay, how's everybody doing? So in this little featurette, I want to talk about applying static grass um, in maybe the non-traditional way. And what I mean by that is, is normally what what we do, or uh, some of us do, or all of us do at some point, is we s just spread a whole bunch of glue and then we just lay down a manicured lawn. And that's okay because everybody does that at first, you know. Um, and it takes experience and practice to try to change that up and create a more believable looking scene and there's a couple things you can do uh, one is to avoid what i just said about just a uniform coverage of one length as well and one color like it's nice to mix up the static grass a bit now you can do that in different ways like you can do three or four or five layers like here i did patchwork and came back and then just dabbed in you know, little bits and uh, covered it that way, just adding another layer. Or if you're going to use one color and one layer, um, I want to show you a method that I like to use around the edges of pavement and track and so on. And I think the key to this is to get yourself a fan brush. Okay. You can get these anywhere. You can get them at Michael's art supply stores. This one here is a number two. Okay. And what I do is, is I just take some matte medium and I dip the brush in like the first half inch or so like this. And then I just stab it on very lightly. And then I work it a little bit into the edges, you know, with the blade of the brush. Build it up a little bit more where you think that the grass might accumulate. And then just stab tiny little parts of glue, like just fan it out. Uh, like you would see normally because um, it's the actual pattern that really like like color is one thing but pattern is another factor that really gets you know uh, the viewers attention okay and you don't need much okay so you can see I applied very little there okay and then I'm going to take the static grass applicator and I don't even really need to touch the area with this two mil I just have it laying on the track here Okay, this is just a piece of copper tube with a alligator clip with a couple zap straps. As you know, copper really transmits electrical current well. And if it's near a track like this, there's plenty of static electricity. Okay, so then what I do is, is I just go over top lightly. Two mil um, static grass stands up beautifully. It's... Uh, works really nice that way okay and that's it and then when you come back to vacuum that up you'll see all the tiny little micro tufts and that's kind of what I'm after here uh, along the perimeter and the edges of things it's just another added layer to help make your layout pop okay thanks and happy modeling and have a great day